Okay, the last time we left our game, the hero could move up, down, right, and left. And if you held down two arrow keys at the same time, it could move diagonally, right? So I'm holding down two arrow keys. And then for shooting, uh, we had it last time, so if you press the E key, it would shoot up. And now I've put in the F and the S and the D for shooting uh, right, left, and down. And I want to show you that code. Plus, I'd like to, if I press two keys like E and F, E and F, shoot diagonally. So I'll show you how to do that really quickly. We're going to go to our code. By the way, at the top here, here's the top of the code. Um, we're eventually going to need a stop action here. So I'm just going to put it in now. We're, I'm going to show you why we're going to need it later. So I'm putting a stop action right there on line one. We don't need it for this, but for later. Also, I've changed the bullet speed equal to five. I'm going to change that equal to six to make the bullets move a little bit faster. And then I'm going down here. And these are the hero enter frame code. And if you see here, this is where I've put in the code. Um, right after key is down 39 to make the character move to the right you see here is the code for shooting so 69 key 69 is up key 68 down key 83 left key 70 right okay so now if I want to do um, have him shoot diagonally I'm just gonna add code to here so what I'll do is I will say let's see if we can um, I'll just copy this I'm going to copy this statement right there. Copy. And I'll paste it here. All right. And I'll put an else in front of it with a space. And I'll say if key is down 69. Now that key down 69 is the key for shooting up. And now I'm going to add double and sign. And I'll just copy that. I'm going to add, paste that right there, the key for going right. And the key for going right is 70. So I'll say, if key is down 69, double and, and key is down 70, and shot timer is less than zero, create laser. And this time, just so you know, create laser 90 degrees would make the laser look like it's going up. But that's not going to work out for me. And I'll, I'll show you why. I'm going to change this to um, upright position. Okay, I'll change the position to upright. So this is the up position for shooting. This is the upright. If I hit Control Enter now, right, and I press those two keys, E and F, it's supposed to shoot upright. But you can see that it's not doing anything yet. So let's add the next piece that will make it move up and to the right. I'm going to go down here to Move Laser, right, and I've got up, down, right, up, down left, right, and I'm going to need something here for um, up and to the right. So let's just copy this last block of code right here and then paste it right here. And I'll say else if this dot direction equals up, and then I, I used a capital there, so I need to put capital R, upright, this dot x plus equal bullet speed, right? And I'm going to say copy, paste, and th also this dot y, if it's going to move up into the y, we're also going to have to subtract from the y property. Okay, and then what you can do is um, say if this dot x is greater than or equal to right bound, and then I'm going to put an or statement in here, which is a double pipe, and I'll say or, right, copy this dot y is less than or equal to is it um, what is it left bound bottom bound top bound I think it's probably top boundary yep top boundary oops and all capitals all right and that should make the um, bullet go up and to the right. So now, and once again, this piece that we added on this else if is in the move laser function, right? So now if I hit control enter and I hold down the E and the F, 
together, it should work. And it's not. Wonderful. So we say else if this dot direction is up right. All right. Um, I think if it registers one of the keys then maybe what needs to happen is we need to put this primary if it registers both down at the same time. So to make this work, in other words, if we look in the code here, it's testing if the shot is up and then the shot's down and left and right. But this one you're saying, hey, if two keys are pressed. But if we already register an if for one key, then this one's probably not even going to get tested. In other words, if this is true here, if this block shows true because we've pressed the up key, then it's never going to test to see if both keys are pressed down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut it and I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to change it to an if statement and I'm going to put the up right primary and I'll change the up to an else statement and I can even delete that line to make the code shorter. Right. So now up right will get tested before up, down, left, and right. See that? And then I'll go down into my move laser and I'll also change that and put that to more primary position. Wondering if that will make a change. So cut, control X on the keyboard and, and I'll just place that right there. All right. And I'm going to leave this as an if statement all right, and then hit Control Enter, and now I press E and F, and you can see there goes the lasers, right? And and what I probably want to do is test that out. And in my code, I can see for um, for my code here, all of these can be else ifs and it seemed to work well. So I start with the upright position and now press E and F and you can see that if I hold both keys down at the same time it does work and it'll shoot diagonally. But there's one problem it's not rotating correctly. So to fix that go into the code here for the laser and we change this from a 90 degree rotation to a 135 degree rotation and then press down both keys and now that shoots correctly. Alright and so there you have it.